I first became aware of our city's dirty air when I came here in the 70s to go to college. And I remember driving east on the Santa Monica Freeway as I went to school at USC. And I'd look at the mountains and I couldn't see them. Or I'd look towards the campus and I couldn't see it. And the air was actually brown. It wasn't like a marine layer, it was brown. And, you know, everything would have grit on it. It was just dirty. And now, you know, you can look around and you can see that things are much better on a daily basis in our lifetime. My first impression of the work at the South Coast Air Quality Management District was this agency is a visionary agency and a, a, a soldier in that, that fight to make sure you protect the public health. You know, I, ha I had a sister who had asthma and died of cancer. Knowing people in the area in which I've lived and worked for many years, not only in downtown, but also in South Los Angeles. When I first came here, I lived in South Los Angeles. And to understand that children face so many challenges, the respiratory illnesses, the allergies, and to finally make that connection, the correlation between the quality of the air, the proximity to the freeway, the clean water, a clean environment, you know, it, it seems unjust. and. I felt very empowered to want to fight that, not only as a you know, public servant, as an elected official, as a staff person, and then finally as a governing board member of the South Coast Air Quality Management District. One of the more interesting things has been to do senior outreach with AQMB the last few years and to teach grandparents how to not only care for themselves, make their own communities cleaner, but to do it for their grandchildren and to educate them in a way that's not only uh, entertaining, but very practical, very hands-on, and very direct. As the interim general manager here in the city of Los Angeles for the Economic and Workforce Development Department, we are in a rare position. Uh, we are at a, in a city that is uniquely poised to bring green jobs, green energy, renewable energy jobs here into the city of Los Angeles, and that all folds into that agenda of cleaning the air. And as head of this department, I intend to work with our workforce centers to not only prepare young people for these opportunities, but to prepare people who need to go back to work and for whatever reason have to change their career focus so that they can get back on their feet and start making an income again. So this fight for cleaning the air is not a theoretical fight. fight Fighting to clean the air can also be an economic development tool because it's part of a, an entirely holistic environmental agenda that can be a job creator. And I really want to say thank you to the South Coast Air Quality Management District, their chairman, Dr. William Burke, all of the governing board members, the executive officer, Dr. Barry Wallerstein, and the extraordinary people who are soldiers in an army to battle for the public health for our region. This has been a transformative experience for me. It has been a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know that I'll ever experience this level of devotion and passion and focus that I have seen at AQMD ever again in my life. Uh, I hope to continue to work uh, with AQMD in some form and capacity and to continue to, to track with them and to coordinate with them in my current position so that we can take our progress and actually use it to put people back to work. But I am very grateful and I will always be thankful and I look forward to a cleaner air future for all of us.